right, man. Let's go back to your last fight. Saw you Still. this summer. Um, you know, short notice fight. Obviously, a, a late replacement stepped yeah. in, um, but obviously didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Talk about that. It, it seemed like a, a very frustrating night for you. Yeah, it was really fr it was really frustrating because I felt I felt really good coming off that win with Hackren, and then uh, for whatever reason, you know, it was like yeah, it was like I I got benched for like ten months. You know, I didn't fight for so long, and then. Um, they lined up Korean Superboy, and I was really excited to fight him, and uh, that fell through. And then it took so long, and it was like I didn't know if I was going to be on the Anaheim card, and didn't know if, you know, I, there were so many things up in the air, and it was like I just didn't, uh, you know, when fight night came, it just didn't feel very, I just didn't feel great. Like it, none of that other stuff is an excuse. I just think a lot of things factored into that fight night. I just didn't really feel great. It was like just a bad day at work, you know. Um, there was not there was there wasn't like one one thing I can pinpoint. I just was wasn't feeling great, you know. And and Calvin Qatar stepped up and fought like he needed to fight to get in the OC, you know what I mean? It was like do or die for him on short notice and and he I think he came in looking great and I came in looking a little flat and you know I don't feel like I got my ass kicked. I don't feel like I got ran through I don't feel like I it was a bad fight necessarily but I just like just didn't perform well you know what I mean and so that's a frustrating thing because it's like it's one thing if you get caught like it's one thing if you get caught or if you're like yeah, everybody gets caught you get caught in a choke you get caught with a kick or whatever but to just like lose I've never lost a decision before so it really really fucking pissed me off because like I've never lost it I've never lost a decision I've never just been beat in a fight and uh it was yeah it was a shitty feeling so I'm just excited to get back to fighting, honestly. I'm just excited to get that taste out of my mouth. But uh, honestly, that's one of the biggest things I've been working on is just letting that, letting shit go. Like, it doesn't, there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Favors always says you have to have a short memory. It's like, whether you win or you lose, you gotta get back on the horse, you know? Like, can't celebrate the wins too much and you can't worry about the losses too much. Like, you're gonna have another fight lined up pretty soon. So, that's where I'm at, man. I'm just excited and focused on what's next. I have to think, you know, I remember thinking before that fight, like, it was. A potential almost I don't say a trap fight you know what I mean but like, it was a it was a highly anticipated fight that everybody was looking forward to yeah. and and then the stylistic opponent completely changes everything's different and you did I mean you hit the nail on the head it was just flat I mean is it was that a big lesson for you and do maybe people not realize like how important it is I mean, to, to, to be to be on so yeah, to speak 100%. You know? yeah um fighting I mean a lot of people just look at fighting like two dudes punching each other which like it, it definitely is that but there's so much the the mental side of this sport is so it's so crucial it's so critical um being being sharp the night of the fight is the only thing that matters like you can have a shit I've had times where everything has gone perfect in the fight camp or whatever but like if that's not going to get you through the fight the only thing that's going to get you through the fight is winning the fight is being sharp the night of the fight you know what I mean um being sharp for that 15 or 25 minutes when you're in the cage. You can have, I've had camps where every single thing went wrong and the night of the fight I just beat the hell out of somebody. And then I've had times where everything went right in my camp and whether I won or lost, I didn't feel great in the cage. So it's like the only thing that matters is making yourself mentally prepared that night, the hours before the, the fight, the seconds, minutes before the fight, before you, you walk out, the camera opens up or the, the curtains open up, camera's in your face. Like that's when you need to be on, you know? And, um, and for me, it's really just getting to like that autopilot state where you're just completely in the zone. And uh, I didn't feel that way um, my last fight, and I'm going to feel that way this fight. And the, the, the performance will speak for itself, you know. I'm really excited to, to, to fight, man. I'm really excited just to beat the piss out of somebody. Like, I, I, I just am excited to get in a fist fight, you know what I mean? Like, it feels good to be back to that. I think people are excited about this fight too. I mean, stylistically, it does seem like it's fun. There's a little bit of a, I guess, a little bit of a history here. Artem was kind of talked about the fact that, you know, when you guys were on the Ultimate Fighter, you were a coach. He was on there. That, you know, it, there was a little bit of conversation, dialogue between the two. Yeah. So is this, a, is this a little bit of a grudge match, or is that over? I don't. It? I don't think it's a grudge match. I think the whole thing that I would say like 95 percent of the time on the Ultimate Fighter, it was like pretty cool. It was copacetic. Everybody was like, everybody was cool. It was just like. It's reality TV, so like any time, the five percent got way more shine than other stuff because more interesting, you know. And you have a bunch of big personalities in the room. You have a bunch of big personalities in the room. At some point, like a bunch of alpha dudes, like we all get in a fight. For, we all get in fights for a living. At some point, like you lock us in the same fucking area for six weeks or eight weeks, like we're gonna like get into it a couple times at least. But for the most part, it was like, it was like 
friendly, competitive shit talking. It wasn't anything like crazy. Like I don't dislike him or anything. You know, I I think it's an exciting fight. I think fans are stoked about it, and that's all I care about. I want people to be excited about my fights, and uh, and I'm excited to get this win, man. Yeah. Surprised it's on the prelim stall because it is a fight yeah. that I think people are talking about. You know, I'm really surprised on the prelim stall. I think it's on Fight Pass actually. Well, the whole thing's on Fight Pass, so at oh, least okay. it, at least you're all in one place. Okay, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> I was a little shocked when I found it was on Fight Pass because uh, I think that uh, people are excited. I think people want to see his fight. You know, he has a mixed record, obviously, and at this point, so do I. Um, there's been an inconsistency in my performances, you know, but I'm excited to turn that around. I'm excited to. I, I genuinely believe I'm the the best 145 pound fighter in the world. Like I'm 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 the best 145 pound fighter in the world, and it's like it doesn't matter how many times you say that because that doesn't mean shit. You have to you have to prove it. You know, I fought I like, I fought the guy who has a belt right now. You know, and my we had a tough fight and he caught me, but I think I was up two rounds to one. You know what I mean? And that's the guy. It's not like it's not like when Jose Aldo has the belt and you're like I never fought him. I grew up watching him fight. I'd like to fight him. Like he's a legend. This and that. Like. Holloway is a he's he's the homie he's the man but like I already fought him like and he just knocked out that fucking the dude I was talking about that was a legend he just knocked him out and we had a hell of a fight you know so it's like it's like that measuring stick is 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 not just some like intangible like oh I think I could beat this guy who has the belt like I I fought the best guy in the world I fought the guy who has the belt you know who just knocked out Jose Aldo like I know that I'm the best guy in the world I know that I can hang with all these dudes in the top five the top three. It's just inconsistency, you know, and I just want to get back to that place where when I was 19, 20, 21, 23, even I was just knocking people out over and I was fighting four times a year, five times a year and just racking up wins. Like, I want to get back to that feeling, you know, I want to get back to that, um, that just excitement. I'm going to get back to that, um, that, that energy, that electricity where you go into a fight knowing like everything's on the line because I've had five wins already and this sixth one is going to put me that much higher. Like, I want it. I'm going to get back to that, you know? And, and it just, I'm just excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm fucking excited. Like, I'm excited, man. Like, I'm really, I'm really excited. I started, I started, like, fall, even even in the last camp, uh, the last fight that I lost, um, I started, uh, even, though the, even though the end result wasn't what I wanted, I started, like, enjoying fighting again. I haven't enjoyed fighting since... 2000 since my first fight in UFC yeah, honestly like it, around the time I fought Holloway it started feeling like a job and it was just like clocking in and putting in your hours and like okay I'm going to practice because I have to practice I have to go to this next practice I need to at least get two in a day you know it's like all these things you're like, I have to go do this I have to go do that and now it's back to that feeling of like I get I get to do this shit like I get to go to Poland with my best friends and get paid to beat someone up on TV like I get I get to do that what made it get to that point I mean is it like the money aspect of it or is it what made know, it get to getting older that you start thinking about like it being a job you know what I'm saying like no I just think I because the thing is like I'm, I'm 27 which isn't like super young but it's not really that old in the sport I mean I feel like I'm really entering my prime right now and but I'm only 27 but I've been doing this for almost over, I mean, I've been doing this over a decade. I've been doing this since I was like 13, 14 years old. So close to 15, 15, closer to 15 than 10 years. Like I've been doing this a long time, you know? And I think when you do anything that much, two times a day, three times a day, six, seven days a week, like it just turns into like a job, you know? And you sort of forget that the reason you started doing this shit in the first place, cause you like fighting, you know? And, um, I'm just back to really liking fighting. Like I was just talking about this. Like when you do it right, when you really, when you really do it right, and you get done with a fight, and you're like, you got somebody else's blood all over you, and like you're high five and hugging strangers, and you like walk back behind the curtain, and everybody, all the UFC staff are like giving you a, a nod, give you a high five, telling you good job, and you get to hug your coaches and whoever else, you know, and like you sit down, and the doctors are talking to you, but you're not really listening to them. You're just trying to shoo them off because you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk to the doctor right now, and then they hand you your check. And you're like, oh, shit, I got paid for this. Like, you know, that's the feeling. When you do it right, you're like, I just got paid for that. Like, when you do it right, like, it's not the training or the weight cut or any of that other bullshit. Like, the fight is the, what, what matters. The fight is the thing that, like, you're, you're focused on, you know, and then you, you enjoy. It's like you get paid and you go like, oh, shit, I get, like, I get a check for this. Like, that's the feeling that I'm, that I'm like, getting back to, you know, and, and uh, it's a good feeling, you know. Does feel like a turning point for you then? For yeah, for sure, for sure. I feel great, man. I just, I just feel good. I just, uh, if I can get this fucking sleep dialed in, like, I'm still like, I'm awake at like 5 a.m. because it feels like it's 8 p.m. or whatever, you know. It feels like I'm still in California time, but 
it's getting better. Everything's getting dialed in. The weight's good and ready to rock and roll, man. And how do you make sure this Saturday night you've got that mindset that, you know, like, because you said you've, you've had times where everything goes good and then it goes right. bad that night. So how do you make sure that mindset, that focus is right where it needs to be? That's something I've been building on is just understanding that, like, the weight cut doesn't determine the fight and the fight camp doesn't determine the fight and who's holding your mates doesn't determine the fight and what some fucking guy on the internet says. You know what I mean? Like, not that any of those things were ever, like, the main factor to me, but I think that it's easy to let all those things accumulate, you know? Like, all those things kind of are cumulative and they, they build up and they snowball into this thing and you get this idea of, like, what the fight's going to be or supposed to be or how you're supposed to feel. And, like, in reality, the only thing that matters is how you feel right before you walk out. And, like, I'm the only one that controls that, you know? And I think that's something I really worked on. I used to think that, like, uh, I used to think talking to a sports psychologist was, like, kind of a pussy thing. It was, like, kind of a mentally weak thing. And then I, I've talked to more dudes, like, no, you should try you should try you should try it. I've been talking to a sports psychologist, and it's, like, I had my reservations, and now it's, like, it's actually, I, I like it, you know? It's, like, there's, it's, like, sharpening the mental tools as much as the physical tools. And that, that mixed in with enjoying it again and mixed in with just, like, sort of taking taking ownership of like the good shit and the bad shit and, and like understanding that I'm the only one that can make myself feel good right before the fight is is like uh, it's a good feeling you know I feel good yeah well, it seems like you're in a good place so assuming I'm in a good everything place. manifests I'm a little, itself I'm a little sleep deprived I'm a little delirious <laughs> right now I've been hearing I've been like I've been doing interviews all for the last like two hours and I've been hearing myself talk over and over and like there's that voice in the back of my head like dude you need to go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> you need to go the fuck to sleep. Well, assuming you get it all dialed in the way you think it is and everything, you know, works out the way you want. Like, how does yeah. this thing manifest itself in the cage on Saturday night? What are we gonna What are we gonna see? We're gonna see a finish, man. I really, I without without sounding cocky, like I, I can beat him everywhere. I'm better than him everywhere. I, I'm, 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 I'm. First of all, I'm a better athlete. I'm stronger. I'm faster. And second, I'm a better martial artist. So I'm, I'm better on the ground. I'm better standing up, and my fight IQ is higher. So I think he's gonna present a lot of opportunities to me, and I'm just gonna capitalize on them and. Um, I w don't be surprised if you see me around his neck. I think I could choke him. I think I could finish him with a choke. Um, I also think I could finish him with a shot to the chin, man. So I, I know he's never been finished before, but I think I'm the motherfucker to do it right now, honestly. Like, I really think I'm the dude to go in and knock him the fuck out or choke him out and finish it. Um, and I think it might be early, honestly. I, I just... Hey, we could, you could see a fucking bloodbath, a 15-minute bloodbath. Like, I've been in those, but I think uh, I think it could also be be a pretty quick night, too. So.